up YouTube? It's your girl Melissa coming back at you with another product review. Today's video is actually brought to you by Hunger. That's right, I am starving and I am so excited because today's video is actually going to be a cooking video using one of my favorite kitchen appliances. So today's video is actually gonna feature the Ninja Foodie Grill. I absolutely love this thing. The spoiler is obviously that I love it, so you don't have to wait till the end of the video to find that out. But this thing does everything and I am obsessed, like seriously obsessed. Today I'm actually cooking my dinner for you guys and I wish I could share. So I'm making some chicken wings and just some basic Oreida golden crinkle fries. And I'll be making both in the air fryer. I've got all of my ingredients and I'll show you what I'm working with in just a minute. But I'm gonna kind of go over all of the features of the Ninja Foodie Grill. There are different models. Um, so I obviously have got the model here behind me, but there are larger models. There's a brand new one that like folds up and does a bunch of stuff. I did a ton of research prior to making the purchase as I always do and I was not disappointed. Without further ado, I'm starving. I wish I could share, because you're gonna be hungry by the end of this video, but let's get right into it so that I can get this food in my belly. First things first, I'm gonna give you a tour of the grill. You're gonna wanna get in a little closer so that I can show you kind of all of the different components and things that come in the box when you buy the Ninja Foodie Grill. So, you've got the grill. And obviously it's beautiful, stainless steel, black, matches my kitchen perfectly, love that. What's really, really neat is this has a grill, so just a regular grill, and it does come with the grill grate, which is right here. So this just kind of sets inside. It's also an air fryer, so that is the air crisp feature that you see here. There is a roaster, you are able to bake, and you can even dehydrate. I have actually failed to use any of these features. I only use the air crisp and the grill feature, but just the features that I have now, I probably use this thing like four or five times a week. So it's pretty great, and I actually have used it multiple times in one day. So love when you open the grill and obviously i've been using it for six months this part is probably my biggest gripe it is so difficult to keep clean no matter how much you scrub it it's gonna look like this if that stresses you out air fryers probably aren't for you but the grill itself um, or i should say the air fryer components you're gonna get a dish that looks like this and it's got kind of a divot only on one side and that matches up with the divot in the inside of the fryer. So literally you just put it in so that those pieces align. And then this is the air fryer basket and that has a divot on both sides. So either way it's gonna work and you just drop that in. So for both items that I'm cooking, we're gonna be using the air fryer. So the air crisp feature we won't need the grill, but I do want you just to kind of see that you would just take this basket out and simply put the bracket of the grill inside and you'll know that it'll line up because this also has the divot piece that lines up with the tray. So that would be how you would grill. I recently made some amazing steak in my Ninja Foodie Grill and I will show a picture of that here so that you can see it. Amazing, like literally better than almost any steak I've ever had at any restaurant and I am a food snob. If I turn this on, this is obviously the on off switch. Um, you're gonna have some different light up buttons. And so the grill button is located on the bottom left and that shows you that there are temperature controls of low, medium, high and max. Um, so those will be just sort of your temperature gauges and the temperature button is located here to the left of the display. And then on the right side, um, kind of going in the square, we've got the air crisp, the dehydrate, the roast, and the bake. And then you've got your time. So for the wings, those are gonna take the longest. I actually cook my wings on average, depending on how many are in the basket. I'm gonna be cooking my wings for 26 minutes and I'm gonna be cooking them at 370. 
So you'll wanna use a oil that has a high smoke point. So I choose to use avocado oil. And what I do is I just put just a tad in the center of my air fryer basket. And then you'll see that there is a time and a temperature. First, I'm going to hit air crisp and it's set for 390. I'm gonna take it down to 375 and then my time is going to be 26 minutes so once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and close the top and hit the start button this puts us into a preheat mode so it's actually going to preheat to the desired temperature of 375 so that I'm able to add my food to the grill so right now you can kind of see the little progress bar it's preheating that usually only takes about a minute or two before it's ready and it will alert us when it is time to put the food in. It'll actually tell us to add it. So let's give that a few minutes and I will be right back. So for today's video, obviously we've got our Ninja Foodie Grill. We're gonna need an empty bowl. I've got my Ninja Foodie Grill cookbook that comes with the grill. Um, I'm not gonna need that though because I already have the recipe down pat. I love having my chicken wings on the grill. And then we've got our golden crinkles, our amazingly seasoned chicken wings. And then I did show you guys here what I use to season. So I've got the Hooters seasoning. Um, this stuff is bomb.com. Um, just some basic onion and herb black pepper. I put just a little bit of this peppy uh, seasoning by McCormick. It's garlic, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper. Um, that just adds a little kick. Then we've got some green onion. And then I'm going to be using two different flavors, half and half. I'll split the wings up when I'm done making them. But I'm going to be doing the buffalo wing sauce just sweet baby rays and then some frank's red hot stinging honey garlic and then the blue cheese that i've got back here is literally just my dipping sauce blue cheese all day no ranch on wings fight me you saw that i used avocado oil as my cooking oil so we're gonna stick with that you're gonna need a pair of tongs and it is very important that they are not metal and that they are plastic or silicone on the ends for the for the grill or air fryer and then I've got back here this is just a component that comes with the grill that I wanted to show you these are skewers so if you were to make kebabs on the grill that's what these are for just wanted to show you that those exist and then you're going to want a meat thermometer to make sure that the wings are thoroughly cooked so that is everything that we're going to need for today's project. So obviously the grill is now ready. It is telling us to add the food, so let's do it. Okay, so first things first, I am going to go ahead and pour these wings into the air fryer. So they are in there, it's heated up. We're gonna close it. And then at that point, you see that the timer starts and counts down. At the halfway mark, we're going to want to flip the wings. So we will go ahead and let that timer count down and I will see you at the flip. So while that's cooking, um, I always like to tell people some of the features and benefits of the products that I'm reviewing. So if you are new to my channel, this channel is all about product reviews, me kind of doing all the legwork, all the research, uh, unboxings, product demos, and honest reviews about products that I use in my day-to-day -day life. So the Ninja Foodie Grill was something I literally begged for for like two years. I wanted this freaking grill. It's a little pricey. I want to say it was like $250. And so it was an extravagant gift to try to ask somebody for, but I really, really wanted one. And for my birthday last year in July, my mom gave me the Ninja Foodie Grill. I was so freaking excited. I can't even tell you, like I was jumping up and down. My boyfriend thought I was insane, but I digress. Essentially, I really wanted a grill that I was able to grill steak at 
my house without setting off my smoke detectors. My smoke detectors would always go off when I made steak because I was making it on a cast iron griddle on my stove top. And every single time that I cooked, regardless of what oil I used, I always set off the smoke detectors. And even though my steaks turned out really well, that cast iron skillet griddle thing sucked. It's like, it was impossible to clean. It literally took me longer to clean the skillet than it took to make, eat, and do the other dishes. Like, it took forever. So I needed a different solution, and this is what I came up with. I did all this research, I looked up a bunch of different other grills, and I went on YouTube and checked out other people's tutorials and watched their videos, and I landed on this Ninja Foodie Grill. I just had to have it. What's really great is with these settings, so like the low, medium, high, and max settings, you're literally able to make anything from bacon to sausage, calzone. You can literally take meat from frozen and completely grill it to regular temp. You can do steak, chicken, burgers, veggies. I've never done it, but you can do fruit um, and even like fresh and frozen seafood and even pizza. Some of my favorite things to make in it, just really quick and easy. I made jalapeno poppers. I make fries. I obviously make chicken wings. I made some of the best burgers that my boyfriend has ever had in his life. Like he literally called me the grill master and he is the master of cooking meat. So I was very, very <laughs> excited to take that title. This thing does it all. Like I can't even think I've made breaded eggplant, you know, fried eggplant, sweet potato fries literally anything you can think of that's frozen, toasted ravioli, all of the things. And it has not disappointed, not one time. Like I said, I made a steak on it last week and it was literally like steakhouse level amazing. So highly, highly, highly recommend the Ninja Foodie Grill for all of your cooking needs. We're just over the halfway mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and give these wings a flip. If you come in, in a little closer, I can show you the halfway point. All right, so already looking really, really good. So they've got a nice golden brown color happening. Love that. I am getting so hungry, guys. I can't even take it. All right. So now that those are flipped, we will go ahead and close it and it automatically starts counting down again. All right guys, so while this is cooking, um, the timer is counting down. We haven't gotten to the fries yet, that's okay. It'll just take a couple of minutes to get those done. I just wanted to go through a couple of the really awesome features that I really love about the Ninja Foodie Grill and then go through maybe just a couple of really small drawbacks that you should be aware of before making the purchase. So for starters, I really love that they include this Ninja Foodie Grill. It's sort of like a hybrid of a user manual and a cookbook. So you can see that they've got all different kinds of really awesome like recipes of different things that you can make with the Ninja Foodie Grill or any of the components, dipping sauces, marinades, the works. If you go to the end of the book though, They've actually got a grill chart that will ask you what kind of meat you're cooking, the amount in weight or quantity. It will give you the temperature, the cook time, and the instructions. So it's really, really straightforward. So if you're new to an air fryer like I was, you don't have to be intimidated. You don't have to be afraid that you're not gonna cook your meat thoroughly because I was like terrified of <laughs> not cooking my meat properly and messing something up and then getting really sick. Um, but they've got all of that. So they've got the air crisp chart in here, um, the dehydrate chart, literally everything that you need is in here. And once you get more comfortable, you'll probably tweak some of the recipes, tweak some of the times, depending on your preference. I know that for a couple things, I did tweak my time because, you know, people eat their food differently. Like I love my steak medium rare. Some people love their steak well done. 
but that's why it's super important to just make sure that you own a meat thermometer. This does not come with the grill, so make sure you have one so that you can check your, your meat after you're done cooking. A couple of things that I really love, so obviously it comes with this. I love that it has so many really cool features, you know, the air crisp, the dehydrate, roast, bake, and grill, all of that all in one cooking tool. So you don't need like all of these different kitchen appliances taking up space on your kitchen counter. But to that point, I will say this thing has a pretty big footprint and this is not the extra large. This is just the standard size. So if you don't have a lot of space in your kitchen or you don't have a lot of open space where it's not directly under a cabinet, you might find yourself in a little bit of a pickle. Um, so just make sure that you have enough counter space and that the counter that you have allows for the open area around the grill and then you'll be good. So that could be a drawback for some people because it does have a large footprint. The other thing is if you have a small family, like just yourself and your significant other or you and your child, this is the perfect size. But if you have a large family, you're going to want to move up to the Ninja Foodi XL or one of their larger models because this will not cook for a whole family unless you're doing multiple batches of whatever you're cooking. So as just an example, I'm making wings. It's a really small portion. It's just for me. And then I have to literally go in and make the fries separate after my wings are already cooked because there isn't any kind of divider or separator in the grill like some other models. So there are other grills out there that have dividers and Ninja Foodi does make one. Um, and at the time, I didn't really think that I would ever need to fry more than one food at once. But I kind of do sometimes and that's okay. I'm totally fine working around it and just throwing the fries in after. They don't take nearly as long as the meat, so my recommendation would be to make the meat first so that your fries or your sides are fresh. But really not a detractor for me personally. If you want something in the Ninja Foodie family, like I said, they've got the XL model and some other models with the divider baskets that might be more suitable for you. But overall, the Ninja brand has really, really impressed me. Okay. Oh, those are looking really, really scrumdily umptious. Oh my goodness. I am really excited <laughs> to eat these. You have no idea. You don't get to watch me eat. But you can see, like, they've got just a really nice browning. They're looking really good. We've got another minute and six seconds. I am going to go ahead and leave those in there for that duration of time. And we will get back when those are completed. The wings are done. As you can see, it says end on the screen. It is important to take them out as soon as they're done because they will continue to cook at the high temperatures inside. As you can see, perfectly cooked wings, like really, really, really good, guys. Next, we're going to actually adjust some of the temperatures and add a little additional oil because we're gonna make the fries. What I really love is that the fries are gonna have like kind of a yummy wing taste to them. So I'm not mad at that at all. So put those in and those are gonna start to cook. And it's just that easy. About halfway, I'll go ahead and give them a shake. And then I'm gonna have my meal completed and I'll show you the final result when everything is done. All right, so I'm gonna go in and give these a quick shake. Make sure that those are cooking evenly. So this is the final product. I am so freaking excited to eat this. You have no idea. Perfectly cooked fries and wings. Um, I've got the buffalo sauce on this one and the honey zinger on here with a little bit of green onion to top it off. And I'm gonna use my blue cheese dipping. But guys, I gotta tell you, if you don't have an air fryer yet, Ninja Foodi is the way to go. If you are still hanging out with me and you've watched the whole video, 
please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can get alerts on the latest and greatest from yours truly. If you guys have any questions, like always, feel free to put those in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as possible. And if you've got any other product reviews or anything that you would like to see on this channel, go ahead and put that below as well and I will take that into consideration for a future video. It's been a pleasure and until next time.